In the 1950s, a shy, highly intelligent boy from suburban Illinois named Ted Kaczynski skipped a grade in elementary school. He was an introvert, preferring to withdraw into his room to study, especially to study chemistry. He was a prodigy with genius level intelligence. His IQ topped 170. He entered Harvard at 16 and graduated in three years in 1962. In five years, he had received his doctorate from the University of Michigan. As an assistant professor of mathematics at the University of California, Berkeley, Kaczynski was not a popular or outgoing professor. Practically no one got to know him. In 1969, he abruptly resigned. The social nature of his teaching position was too much for Ted. He just didn't seem to fit in. By 1971, Kaczynski had decided to drop out of society completely. He bought an acre and a half of land in a rural area just outside of Lincoln, Montana, 6,000 feet above the society he had come to despise. He built a tiny 8 by 10 foot cabin with no electricity or running water. There he would sit by himself, reading and writing. One of the things Ted wrote was a 23-page essay raging against modern man's obsession with technological and scientific progress. Scientific research, he wrote, will inevitably result in the extinction of individual liberty. He sent a copy to his brother, David. David read it and stuck it in a trunk where it sat for a quarter of a century. In June of 1978, Ted Kaczynski took a time out from his cabin to take a job working for his brother at a foam cutting plant in Illinois. Ted's bizarre behavior became too much. His brother was forced to fire him. Ted had insulted a female co-worker who had refused his advances. Ted seethed and within a year moved back to his cabin in Montana, vowing never to see his family again. Trying to fit in as a social being was too frustrating for the introverted genius. Ted withdrew even more, believing modern man incapable of understanding him. He was starting to see civil society as an obstacle that needed to be overcome. In time, Ted became acclimated to his life with few luxuries. He took it upon himself to grow his own food and to be otherwise self-sufficient. He had few acquaintances, opting for his own company in the Montana wilds. Ted rarely made it into Lincoln. When he did, it was usually to bury his face in reference books in the small town library. Ted Kaczynski was always active in his secluded cabin. When he wasn't making bombs, he was writing his philosophy that justified them. For Ted Kaczynski, technological society was a horror defined by the Earth's destruction and human beings amounting to little more than mindless robots. In Ted's story, anyone who was participating in the human race's dependency on technology was a villain. On June 18, 1996, Ted Kaczynski was indicted in Sacramento on 10 counts relating to Unabomber activities. One charge in the death of Hugh Scruton, three charges in the wounding of Charles Epstein, three charges in the maiming of David Gilerter, and three charges in the death of Gil Murray. Ted's desire for solitude would no longer be self-imposed. With no options, he pled guilty to all Unabom-related crimes. He was given four life sentences plus 30 years. He would never be eligible for parole.